Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is John Lynchowski. I'm president of the Institute. For those of you who are new, uh, I just, um, first of all, wanted to welcome you all. Uh, I want to say that we here at, at the Institute of World Politics are honored to have this assembly with so many distinguished participants. Uh, we here are very concerned about overall national, U.S. national security, uh, cooperative relations with close allies like South Korea, uh, and the protection uh, of, uh, of, of peace and, and security both in the East Asian region and, and throughout the world. We here uh, are, a, we are a graduate school. We are not a think tank. We have five master's degree programs. Uh, one on uh, international affairs, another in national security, another in intelligence, and then a couple of, and each of those are two-year programs. We also have an 18-month program that's tailored for people in the armed forces and another executive MA for a, a one-year program. We specialize in teaching all the arts of statecraft, by which we mean the instruments of national power. We study the art of diplomacy, the many arts of public diplomacy and strategic influence, that means relations with people and not just with governments. That's everything from cultural diplomacy, information policy, international broadcasting, and then all of the different fields that have to do with strategic influence, whether it's political action, political warfare, psychological strategy, countering hostile propaganda, and so on. We have the first intelligence degree outside of the U.S. government and a serious counterintelligence program. We, uh, we teach economic strategy. We teach cyber strategy. Uh, each of these is like an instrument of the orchestra. And we want you to learn how to play your instrument, but we also want you to learn how you integrate into the symphony. And this is the, ch the, the big challenge of getting people out of their conceptual and bureaucratic silos in order to become integrated strategic thinkers. Uh, we, uh, we are dedicated to the defense of, of, of this country and the political order it represents. And, uh, and I, I just, that's all I really wanted to say. That's where you are. If you, uh, if, if this is, uh, there are young people here in the audience, and if you're interested in advanced study uh, in some of our fields, we welcome you to take a look at us. And for those of you in the older generation, we welcome the, the, the possibility of future collaboration with you on matters of mutual interest. So I wish you a very successful conference today, and I'd like to invite General Tulelli to, to the podium. Thank you very much. Well, welcome, uh, everyone, to the 33rd uh, conference. Uh, I want to thank uh, not only our guests here, but our presenters and facilitators. I want to welcome General Kim and General Kim, the co-chairman and the chairman emeritus, co-chairman emeritus. I want to thank all of our Korean friends who uh, came in from the Republic of Korea yesterday to be part of this. And uh, as you can see, uh, the participants are far beyond our expectations. We had to open the door and put some reserve seating in the back. I guess there is a little interest about Korea nowadays. Everything's quiet there. Peace is breaking out all over. And we can see the nuclear weapons being destroyed as we speak right now. So, so with that, we have some great, I think, presenters. Uh, Bruce Bechtel did most of the work to set this up. I want to thank the Institute. I want to thank Allison, who's out there somewhere, probably scurrying around getting things done. Uh, for working this for us. You're going to hear a lot of discussion and then you're going to have an opportunity to ask questions. And we are going to orchestrate this so there is an opportunity to ask the presenters and the facilitators questions. So welcome, General Kim, let me turn it over to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Chairman of Korean side, so I'm not well prepared. Please understand. Uh, respectful General Kilali, okay. sorry, 
A respectful uh, general Kilali co-chairman, uh, General Sharp, and the fellow flag officers, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome and thank you for attending the 33rd International Security Conference. As you all know, the Council on the Korea-U.S. Security Studies was found in 1984 by retired and active officers, diplomats, journalists, and economists, and scholars from, the, both, from both countries. Our Council holds an annual international security conference in Seoul and Washington, D.C. Uh, to promote mutual friendship and uh, research in the areas of national security, including politics, economics, the military uh, relations. This conference has uh, discussed uh, issues ranging from classic uh, security issues to future security ones. The rock us alliance issues, the denuclearization de of North Korea, and the unification of the Korean Peninsula. This seminar was especially uh, important and meaningful. The Panmunjom uh, Declaration uh, was announced through the South North Korean uh, Summit on April 27. Uh, the joint statement of the U.S. Uh, DPRK Singapore Summit was made on June 12. And two leaders agreed to establish a new relationship and work toward a complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. However, it looks like a long journey for the complete, verifiable, irreversible dismantlement of the of a North Korean nuclear. I don't know how meaningful discussing this situation had to head in our conference is. While the security situation on the Korean Peninsula is rapidly changing. At this critical juncture of change, we hold the conference to discuss Korean Peninsula security challenges the first year under President Moon and Trump. I am very impressed to discuss the current focus of interest, the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula, and the issues of Korea-U.S. alliance between U.S. governments. I hope uh, that through today's uh, topic presentation and active discussion, various opinions will be following to promote, promote peace and stability over the Korean Peninsula and in Northeast Asia and advance the rock us alliance. I would like to express my special respect to the co-chairman Pilali, who played a great role in holding this conference, uh, in hosting this conference, even under difficult circumstances and in particular uh, I would like to deliver my gratitude to Dr. Uh, Bruce E. Beckel of U.S. and Dr. Samuel Zhang of uh, ROK for well preparation of this conference with special interest and enthusiasm. Once again, I would like to thank you, thank all of you, for all panelists and. Uh, participants and wish you the success of this conference. We go together. Thank you very much.